Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. Welcome to my podcast, Saving Grace, a podcast that is going to make you feel a lot better about your life decisions. I thought we'd kick off my first episode with the man, the myth, the legend, Max Malegni. Hello. Tell him. Say hello. I am a legend, to be he fair. He is, yeah. I Only get that for, everywhere I yeah. go. Give us a little introduction, people that might not know you. Um, so I've got a massive cock, yeah. a massive heart. Can confirm. And a really small, tight little anus. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> We've had a drink before we started oh this. God. Don't know why the fuck I said that. I've he upset myself. Yeah. How, how many I seconds are we it, into it? We're 20? literally not even 20. I've knocked myself sick. I actually am really upset. Sorry, mum. My mum ain't watching this. She don't My mum is though, is. so sorry, mum. Oh, sorry, Grace. Turn it mom. off. I'll tell you what happens. Oh, here we are, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I thought, running order of the day, obviously we can't be sober for today. No, when are we ever clearly. sober? Never. Never. So I thought we'd do a cheeky little say it or shot it. Oh, fuck my life. I will Can't do wait. that. Absolutely indeed. Jesus Christ. Can I just say as well, sorry, how excited I ahead. am to be here. Oh, say and it how, louder. And how proud I am that I yeah. am the first guest. I'm getting emotional. We've all been waiting, let's be honest, for we Grace have. to do something like this, um, where she has people actually telling her, what is acceptable to say or not. I needed that. And I will confirm that she slapped every single one of them across the tits before we started filming and said, I don't care what yeah. you have to say. Fuck off. I'm going to say everything that I want. Tell them. So I personally can't wait. Thank I'm just you. very um, grateful and I'm excited to do this podcast. That really was beautiful. Am. Thank you. I'm going to write that down and put it on my grave. That's my Instagram bio. I might change it actually. I'm yeah. actually really happy to be here and really happy to be here. <laughs> right. So we've got vodka here to shot. Fuck. So realistically, we want to be answering most of these questions. Oh my God, yeah. Because I will. I'll be upset. I'll be on the floor. And the only thing I've got to chase out. it down with is a porn star martini with an extra shot of vodka in it. So... Christ. Yeah, listen. Right, yeah. so first things first. I'm mm. going to... Okay, first the qu first question is... No, I can't ask that. Oh, my God. Have you ever been dogging? <laughs> um, It was the first one. <laughs> I've never been dogging. Does right. this... Right, does this mean, like, just purely outside, out of a car? Is it bad that I actually had to pause to think about that? Well, me mm. too. Yeah, so, here we are. realistically... There's actually a spot very close to where I live I need that is often referred to as Bumboy Alley. D were they named after you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's actually my middle name. <laughs> um, no, it is just a long street. The actual official term for it is Pete's Pit Stop. That's the sign that's there. And it's okay. meant for lorry drivers who do long haul drives to go right. and have a rest. But of course, the gays yeah. and the slags, gays here, slags here, yeah. took full advantage of Pete's pit, uh, Pete's pit stop and turned <laughs> it into twister. something unbecoming of the Lord. I'm disgusted. Yeah. Um, so you've never been? I've shagged there quite a few times. Really? Because I was once an in-the-closet homosexual, if you can believe no, such things. I couldn't. And one of my only gateways to... <sighs> was Pete's pit stop. was Pete's pit stop in somebody's car. I can't say I've ever just gone there myself, driven there and had a look at the local meet. Well, um, there's well, still time. Exactly. The night is young. Now you've got the fame on your name. Here we are. You and can I've just got put your thumb out. With, yeah. yeah say no I've, more. I've put my, yeah. Get the door open and the legs. Easy. Say nothing. Why not? But no, I can't say I've ever officially been dogging. Have I had sex in a car? Yes. Was there a point in my life where I'd had more sex in a car than in a bed? Yes. yes. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad that you felt comfortable enough I'm to share to, that with yeah, me. Yeah, and I'm also over that point in my life. I'm not. I'm oh. um, no, <laughs> I know. I've never done it in like the wilderness. Never had a twig up the bum. Good. Um, but I have also done it in a car. Oh. On a housing estate. Right. In front of a house. Oh. Was there an audience? We'll soon find out. If All a right. video ever emerges, GK Barry's cheeks getting clapped in a Vauxhall Corsa, I'm not claiming it. No. That's not fucking me. No. I don't care what they say. No. And I will openly say, um, for the clout, it is me. It, yeah. That is it's doing Max. the clapping. Yeah, of course no. it is. He was I, closeted. I, yeah. We've all been there. It was a mistake. It, okay. As most of your That's sexual encounters are. <laughs> I don't remember half of them. So <laughs> yeah, it's there fine. we are. That's good. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is, what? who is a TikToker that everybody likes, but you don't? 
think <laughs> I think there's probably there's definitely an answer. I think there's probably an answer that maybe we both have in common. And yeah, maybe we've met this person a few times. So maybe they've yeah. been like repeatedly rude to us multiple times. Multiple times. But I'm also thinking maybe we should shop. I'm um, not catching a case. I no, don't I'm have not. my lawyer present today. No, no, no. Yeah, my no. manager's going. Don't do that. Not happening. No, I'm um, going. Fair I'd love enough. to. Yeah, no, I'd love I to would. let this individual know it would be you're brilliant. a twat. Yeah. Um, you're very entitled. You're not a nice person. Calm down. Um, but I would never say that. No. Because I'm a nice person. Do you know what's funny though as well? Every time we've met this person, mm. we've pretty much been together. Mm -hmm. And every single time we keep going... What the fuck? But then is no, going but then when we do see them, we're like, hi oh, yeah. We see we literally oh, you look the good. last time that we knew we were going to see this person, we we're like, oh, we're gonna see this person tonight. We and had we to got, mentally prepare. And we were like, fuck's sake, I cannot cope. And then we said, but watch the second that we get there, and we both got there. Oh, oh hi, yeah. we were like, of course, oh, please. God. Only because though we know it's more hassle than it's worth. Especially with possibly that person, yeah, way it would more be hassle. The, biggest hassle. the clickbait, could you imagine? Oh my fucking god! Take the fucking I wheel. Couldn't be after. Yeah, uh, no, I, couldn't I be don't want to be in uh, like a TikTok drama. Yet. No, me neither. I mean, I've, I've, been in it, I've been in it once. Not fun. We're gonna get onto that. Oh, fucking hell! Right, no clickbait okay. or anything. Oh shit! Might right, be a bit drunk do we have already. to do a shop then? Right. Yeah. Right. I can't act that much. Yeah. I can. Right. Okay, well, right, we'll soon see, won't we? We'll see what happens. I say. What day is it? A day to get fucking drunk. Yeah, we are. That's what it. I like right. to hear. Are we going to do our, our cheers that yeah. you know is coming? Oh, I do. Okay. That's the same Fuck as I've life. got. Grace. Oh, my God. Grace. Right, okay. Fuck right. it now. Hold on. Grace. This is actually like... Hold nah. on. All right. Okay. Right. Oh, shit. You know, I you've got to do the realize... TikTok thing. Breathe out. Do it. Breathe out. I don't know what that means. Up the bum. Now I'm done. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> Got loads of vodka in it as well. Sorry, I started sweating. That was oh. really disgusting. Oh. Do you know it's three o'clock in the it afternoon? Going down. No, it is actually this three p.m. This is when I usually do shots on a weekday. To be fair, fucking right. Jesus Christ. Oh, that really hurt me. Yeah, I'm upset. Okay, right. Will. So <laughs> what? We, sorry, I just had to quickly get myself together. I'm starting yeah. to sweat. Okay, so. What's your most embarrassing story? My most embarrassing story. Yeah, and I know there's got to be one. Oh, I've got a few, Grace. I'm not going to lie to Me you. Me too. Um, first one that comes into my head off the bat, I once had to actually... Do you know, like, when you're drunk and you're like, oh, I do. Like, you maybe do a wild wee. Yeah. Which like, you're in the street. I once had to shit in the street. But wait, while shagging? I didn't say that. Sorry, wait. I didn't say that. Wait, so the fact that did you I read the out, question wrong? Did I read the, Did I not you say just sex said, story? No. Did I not? No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought that I meant I was shagging someone on their shit in the like, street. To be fair. To right, be fair. Sorry, I thought I said most embarrassing sex story. You didn't. You didn't. But do you we'll know what? We'll go on to that. No, no. Funnily enough, they're <laughs> the same story. <laughs> No, they're not. Right, okay, wait, okay. That's why most I was so shocked. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right, most embarrassing sex story. Is that right. what you want to know? Is that what you were no, supposed no, to well, say? No, no, okay, well, go, that's our next question then. Right, so yours was taking a shite in the middle of the street. This was most embarrassing story okay. for me, yeah. personally. I hear it. I had a moment in my life where um, <laughs> voice it had been a few days and I hadn't been able to... Release the bowels. I'll just say this politely. Um, shit my guts out yeah. in the toilet. IBS, and um, I was out here. Yeah. Oh. Um, I was out here, and I was Nine about months. to go on a night out, and I was with my very first boyfriend at the time, who um, his family him. actually were devout Christians and thought that I was a gay demon that had come to possess him. But that's a story for another May day. May he rest. Yeah. Um, and we were about to go on a night out, and I said, "I've not shit in three days, and I'm in pain." <laughs> I said, "I'm trying to shot vodka, and it feels as though it's adding." To my to way, yeah. So I said, I need to do something about this. He said, I'll run across to Sainsbury's, get you some tablets, oh. and we'll see what happens. Whilst he did that, this was my first year of uni. I stole a lot of medication from my mum. That sounds weird. Um, she's a, a drug dealer. No, now. she's not. Yes. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> if you want that fire, Cali, yeah, Mrs. Here we are. Day, yeah. Um, no, she had this medication box in our kitchen, and I just took it because I thought, I might need it more than these old fuckers. At the end of the day, who's yeah. got more life to live? You. Me. Um, so I stole them and inside when he had gone to the shop, I saw that they were actually, what they called? 
that laxatives. Laxatives, you didn't. Before so a night out. I read the box, Grace. I read Sorry. the box and it said, take one. Yeah. Pass um, it on. For like, and you'll see results in the next couple of hours. So I thought, well, I need them now. So I'll take three. Dumb fuck. <laughs> Doesn't need any explanation. Dumb fuck. Then he comes back. He's got some herbal ones. I said, do you know what? What's going to, what's no, the harm? Didn't. I took them as well. I only took one of his. Go on the full night out. I get. I had to drink through the pain because I couldn't pack <laughs> it. I just kept doing shots. I couldn't even have lemonade. I just had to have shots all night all because bubbles. it was too much. Mm. I was like, I've forgotten about this. I feel fine. This is great. I was like, I'm on a night out. It's kind of gone down a bit. I was like, lovely. Didn't have a shit, but I was no. like, I'll probably have one in the morning. Everything's fine. We literally are on the, uh, at the end of the night out, go to a takeaway. I'm Cheesy thinking chips. I'm not having any of this for You're food. I can't, I've got no room. Skinny queen. And then my stomach goes, bloop. <sighs> I've never in my life felt this. I had to run. <laughs> From the takeaway oh, to my accommodation. <laughs> and I had that realization of, I'm not going to get there in time. I'm not going to get there in time. <laughs> Shit, my pants. In a street. <laughs> no. I had to just go down. There was no bushes. <laughs> there was no. no bushes. No, Max. Just a wall, a building. I, I shit on the floor. Never in my life have I shit so much. Ever. I don't know. Worst part is, ran inside. F after that giant you didn't load wipe. of shit. Grace, I had nothing to wipe. <laughs> I had shit Your on my thighs. Your cheeks were smearing Have you shite. ever had shits on your thighs? Shit. Have you ever had shit on your thighs? Because I <laughs> no, have. No. No, I, I have. have. Very niche. I ran. I made it to my accommodation. I'd already shit on the floor, shit on my thighs. <laughs> I then was like, it's going to happen again. And I'm not having it happen in the lift up to, because then I'll be oh, shitty no. boy. I'll be shitty boy. <laughs> I'll be shitty shitty, boy. In, yeah. I'll be shitty boy in flat 73. And I'm not having that. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing it. Not. So I had to go to the disabled toilet in the common room. Oh my God. Grace, it fired up the side. <sighs> I then made it. Obviously, there was toilet roll. <clears throat> I'm crying. I get emotional. This is really awful. I get emotional to... when I think about it. Luckily, there were toilet rolls in the disabled toilet. I thought, I'm no, really sorry. No, poor disabled thought, person. I'm really sorry. As if they haven't they got are. anything else to worry about. The fucking legs don't they've work. They've gone in and they shut up the wall. And That's they've said the shit everywhere. The shit everywhere. I'm crying. That's really bad. So much that life is against me. <laughs> and now I've got to deal with this shit, literally. literally. I go upstairs. All right. I get to my room. Yeah. I Thank have God. the Flat biggest shower you've ever seen. <laughs> and boyfriend walks in with his takeaway. Did you make it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't I made it fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Why does it stink? And then I had to go to work every day that week and walk past my human shit on the floor. <laughs> and it was summer. So it just got worse. There were flies. You didn't Awful. bottom that night either, I'll tell you no, that for no, free. No, no, no. There's no fucking way. So, well, yeah, that so made, that's my story. That it's not that bad, really. That really tight. Yeah, come on, watch yours. <laughs> it's a summer's night. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. In prison. In oh, right, okay. In prison? <laughs> prison. Ah, right, okay. Although in prison. Yes. I would find a man. You would. You really But would. in prison. Yeah. Uh, you know, my friends at the time, they were avid R&B users. Oh, right. Users, oh. it's not a drug. Here we are. They'd like to whine. <laughs> I ain't got an ass, so I just went there for the free drinks. Love Do you know that. what I mean? Love that. I was like a fly on the wall. Anyway, one night, a man actually took interest in me. Oh. I thought... That's a rarity in itself. Yeah, I thought, Here we are. he's getting it tonight. Oh, love that. So anyway, a bit of Think Bit Chris Brown came on and suddenly I just lost my mind. Oh. I, did, I forgot where I was. Oh, God. He was in VIP. I would just like to say... The these men were definitely drug dealers, right. uh, which obviously accentuated the fact that Very I would absolutely pounce on them. Yes. So anyway, I get in there. Um, and then this man, we're like whining. Me, me bones are creaking because I ain't got an ass. There we go. He then goes, come back to VIP. I said, what a sext. So we go to VIP. He starts pouring grey goose in my mouth. I'm oh. thinking, is this a music video? Is it? Am I with J1? I oh. don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh. So them. He goes, come sit in the booth with me. Oh. I just want to make this clear. This booth is one of the most obvious booths in the entire prism. Ah. It, everyone can, when you go in the R&B room, yeah, everyone can see it. As the kids it. would say. Anyway, uh, basically, I then, don't know what happened. It was a blur. I mount him. My oh. asshole comes out. Oh. Couldn't tell you if I shaved it. Ah, Probably not. Definitely not. Nah. I was first year. I was yeah, a skank. No. Didn't shave it. My arsehole's out. 
At this point, I'm getting off with him. I think I'm in a pink PVC dress. Does he know your arsehole is out at this point? I think he got my arsehole out. Yeah. And to be oh. honest with you, someone's got it. Who's complaining? Yeah. Definitely so anyway, at this point, there's about 30 people in the fucking booth, right? Yeah. yeah. Some girls, some bougie girls, they're going, this girl's on crack. I'm going, oh. to be fair. Mm. So anyway, the security, three, like, security guards come over. They go to my friends. Can you tell this girl to put her asshole away? Oh. I go, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Continues. Mm. Well, I then leave for a minute. I leave, I lose my phone. I'm now like bawling in the club. I'm like oh, scream gosh. crying. I'm oh, like, no. I need to speak to the manager. My hair's turned into a Victoria Beckham bob. Oh, heck. I start having a go at the manager. Yeah. He has a go at me, he tells me to shut up. Oh, gosh. I shut up. I go yeah. back to the VIP room. They've replaced me with some other girls. Oh. And that's it. Oh. But the thought of Vi my asshole blinking at people mm. in Prism Nottingham is a humbling experience. Yes. And I sometimes imagine. I like to think that didn't happen. No. If I don't think it happened, it didn't happen. There we go. At least, do you know what? At least your asshole got the opportunity to blink. Mine was an open cavern <sighs> spraying for all of the public to see Money and, have another and see smell. It. And if they were in yeah, the Yeah, do you know what? I've never vicinity. shitted on the shit. Sh sh I've sharted once by accident, but that's you it. You give me big shark vibes. Fuck you. That is the worst <laughs> thing I have big ever been told energy. in my life. Like you would think it was all right and it's just not. That was exactly it. And I was sat yeah. with my flatmate and I went, Tat, I think I've just sharted. Yeah. And she went, you haven't. I went, I have. You have. You have. And that was at uni. Oh God. Fuck. We're going to move on. Sexual experience, most embarrassing one. Got my most go. embarrassing sexual experience. So like you're going to outdo me on all of these. One time, yeah, to be fair, I'm a bit mm. of a fucking horrible person. Um, one time I just showed up. It was about to be a sexual experience that just didn't happen. I was actually going to the dogging spot. So this is a bit of a full circle moment. Jesus, yeah. I was about to get into like a man's car after a night out because yeah. that's notoriously a really safe thing to do. Yeah. Um, and I went in and opened the door and quickly realized... This was not the person that I was speaking to. Oh, no. Um, quite a large fellow, little hair on his head, um, probably a lot of hair around Down his below. cock and balls. <laughs> um, and I said... <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, took, nice. I took one look at him and I said, uh, I don't think... Nah, no. <laughs> no. I said, and he said, shut the door, shut the door and get in. I said... Do you realise I've got eyes and <laughs> I can actually see you right now and I think that we both know that you're not that person yeah. and I don't actually have to get in this car and I'm not going to. No, um, stand your ground. So I just didn't. I'd have got in. Yeah, well, well actually <laughs> another would. story, this is actually really bad. Um, my lovely boyfriend, Andrew, if you're listening. Hey, Andrew. Just don't. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was once outside a club called Freedom that we once tried to get in. Freedom. And um, Grace actually tried to use my ID to get in <laughs> to this club. Safe to say it did not work and she got it taken off of her. Um, don't really know why we thought that it would work, but we were both very confident in our conversation. I was, I was sort of had a, I've grown my hair out. Yeah. Got, uh, Here yeah. we are. What this is me. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Um, but I was outside that club yeah. and um, a lot of supercars, they're called, which is like the step above sports You don't car. have to tell me. Yeah. And um, I was stood there waiting for like a Uber home and apparently... Sometimes these proper rich guys just come and pick people up. So I thought, oh, this guy pulled over in like a Ferrari and he goes, get in. So I said, all right, all right what yeah. have I got to lose? <laughs> I'm thinking life. he's just going to take me home. Mm. And he goes, get your ass out. <gasps> I did it. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I said, I uh, don't really want to do that. No. Actually, do you, well, you, are you all right just taking me home? <laughs> and he said, get the fuck out. <gasps> no, no, he actually said 50 quid. So he took a look up and down and he said, You 50 were worth 50 squids. 50 quid. I was, I was impressed. I No, I was about I to was say like, that. I'd be like, fuck yeah. I said, oh Cheers. my God. I said, what? <laughs> oh, me? I said, 50 quid. Oh my God. Let me just text my mates one <laughs> second. <laughs> you think so? I was like, quid. oh my God. Uh, but no, then I did ultimately get out of the car. And you now didn't I'm show in a loving your relationship. No. Um, he wasn't the nicest looking person. A, a trend with these rich people, not They're very not nice looking. looking. They have to make up for it with their cars. Yeah, not very good. What's your most embarrassing sexual experience? I mean, I didn't have to show my ass to a Ferrari, but... Right, okay, that's always good. I was in first year and basically I'd just broken up with the boy. If you've watched 
the fellas podcast. This was the one that tried to run me over. If you're watching this, don't DM me about this, trying to take it off. He's been going for it. I'm not doing it. I've got insurance. <laughs> you can't sue me. Anyway, so it was after this and there was a man in my accommodation that I thought was very attractive. He wore one of those North Face puffers. Oh, wow. So I thought, get your cock out. Do you Easy. know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, it was the night that happened um, and I accidentally said my ex's name oh. to him and he kicked me out fully. Physically? And I, like physically kicked me out. And I then had to see him because we were in sort of the same, like we'd all have pre's yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to see him for the same. Oh God. Uh, why am I stuff? I mean, it's embarrassing, but it's not that embarrassing. No, it's because I'm a fucking gutter human being. Yeah, but this is my podcast. I feel like I should be living but up to the name. I was raised in the sewers. Yeah, I'm not a nice person. Okay, do I might you know seem what? I'll like take it, it. Yeah, but I'm... I might seem like it now. <laughs> How would they know? After I've just told you all that shit in the street. Right, so this are. next one. What is the Cheers. worst brand you've collaborated with? Um, well, across the board, I would just say... Wait, this is say it or shot it. I'll just say it. I don't care. Um, I do care, actually. My manager's probably freaking out right now. Just Maybe I won't say, the Well, across the board, I just think, first of all, this is very new for both of us. yeah. This whole life. The fact that we're fucking here, Grace. Is and hilarious. This, is, this yeah. is your job. God forbid. What the fuck is going on? We're Couldn't so lucky. You. And it's. I find it insane, first of all, that chatting shit online is a job. Second of all, that it's my job. And third of all, does that make sense? Here we are. Third of all, <laughs> I've had a few drinks. Third of all, that you actually get paid for it. Um, and it's brands great. want to link their name with yours. But the tricky thing is when sometimes <laughs> brands are like, right, okay, so we're a skincare brand and we really care about this, this ingredient and we really want to put this. And I'm like, have you seen my videos? So you're yeah. saying to me that you want to work with me. I'm so open to that. Love that. Try your product. I always trial um, the products that I like promote mm -hmm. beforehand because I'm like, if it's shit, I'm it's not going to do it. Yeah. Um, unless you pay me like millions. I'm an absolute sellout. <laughs> um, no, um, but I've never been paid a million in my life except for the appearance on this actually grace has actually forked i paid i had to work the streets for yeah that. yeah um for years Your fanny's throbbing for absolute years yeah um but i just say the ones that are have a strict idea in their mind of like, we want to get this across. And I think, have you seen my videos where I just chat shit and tell stories about me shitting in the street? Because it would be so much more likely that people would buy your product if you just let me be myself. I was about to say the exact same thing. There's some companies that you'll work for and they'll give you a script. And it's like, no, no. fucker is going to buy this if I'm going, My skin is everyone. illuminated. Yeah, look at my skin. Do you want to know what's on it? <laughs> Illumina. I was going to say, all know what's yeah, in your face. we all know what's on mine. Disgusting. A good five second round of fun. Hey. But no, I, that's the only thing. Although a lot of brands are nice to work with, though. They let you so have many. Jack, Jack Wills. Jack Wills. Jack Wills. I wore them too. I'm wearing Jack Wills as well. Are you really? Yeah, and I was impressed They're by this. They're good at jizz. They're actually good at jizz. Yeah, you're welcome, J Dubs. Um, but yeah, like completely, some of them, I've been so ridiculously impressed because once I realized, oh, this can actually be a job, this is weird. I was like, oh, am I going to have to be one of those like twatty influencers that's like a sellout and stuff? Flat tummy tea. Yeah. It's, I was like, I don't want to do that. Like no. I'd rather just, so for ages, I just kept my actual daytime job and I was like, I'm not like strained from that. And then I started working with brands like Jack Wills. Like, um, can't think of any of us off the top I of my head. I feel like we did similar shots. things as well. We both so stayed many. in our jobs yes. until like last um, minute yeah and then we were like very okay, last minute yeah i was quick. like living like three double lives at once yeah. like trying to maintain you can't everything. do it no i was working at costa i couldn't do it i oh, was like no. on shift hannah was texting me like you need this today i was like hannah i'm a cost i'm in an apron right now <laughs> i cannot film shit i can't do it so I just have to it quit. is just shocking though it's, i sometimes i'm like what the fuck is my life where like these amazing brands want to work with me and they're so open i think because you study digital marketing, don't you? Yeah, now I do, yeah. Yeah. Um, shocking that you have any education whatsoever. I don't. It's a fluke. Um, but I also studied digital <clears throat> marketing until I dropped out. Because um, <laughs> I'm not as good at life as Grace. And um, I realized that there's been a shift in like influencer culture as a whole. Because it used to be very like celebrity endorsement based. Like oh, this yes. person is beautiful yeah. and I want to be like them. So I'm going to buy the the apps that they use. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy the moisturizer that they use. Whereas now it's like, 
normal people it's like us. Because they trust us, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because who are you going to trust? Somebody who looks like who's seven foot tall, looks amazing. And you know they're only doing it for the money. Exactly. Whereas like yeah. someone like us, they grew up, not grew up, what the fuck am I on about? They they started the following us. <laughs> we grew up in the sewers. We um, did, yeah. And we have just been open and honest about the worst parts of ourselves from the yeah. beginning. So of course we're going to be honest with our audience when it comes to a brand partnership. And there's been a few times, not going to lie, where I've been saying, yeah, I'll do this. And then I've been like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Mm. Like you don't, you don't want to. And it's not really being, I guess it could come across to some as being like unprofessional. Um, Like if you say like, yes, I want to work with this brand. And then, but if I get given, for example, a script or I get told that I need to be like bright and smiley and doing this. I don't want to be a sellout. I yeah. don't want the people that follow me from They'll the beginning. They'll know as well. One they know percent. straight away. And if then you it won't do, do well. Yeah. So I don't understand They'll the thought like process. You get like 10K views and you're like, well. Exactly. Literally. Like happened to me maybe recently. I don't know. Um, but like <laughs> it's it, it's just frustrating because we get thrust into this life that we didn't realize was going to happen. And then yeah. you have to be really business savvy. And then we know best what's going to work for our page. But they, they assume they know best. Yes. But thank you, Jack Wills. Do- thank you, Jack Wills, for understanding. I literally did Love a video you. of me being like, pretend I was like, this is where all the magic happens in my bed. And they were like, approved. Yes. I was like, okay. I've fully been like, doesn't I, my dog look disabled? And they're like, yeah, they're like we yay! love it. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're great. Right, next question. What is your biggest regret since you started social media? Honestly, don't really have many. And I know that that's really? like really cheesy, but that's fair enough. maybe my biggest regret early on when I first got in my new relationship, mm-hmm. it was showing my boyfriend like in a video yeah. because then it felt like there was no going back and people were very like, he will go on nights out now and, and people yeah. will come over to him, try and get with him. Oh. And then he says, oh no, like I've got, and they're like, yeah, we know. Like you're with Max. Oh. And they know, and so they do it. And likewise with me, I've, we've literally been in a situation where we're in a club together. One of us goes to the toilet. Like someone came over to me and they were like, oh, like you're well fit. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> but uh, like my boyfriend's just there. And they're like, yeah, like I know. I just wanted to like, and like people actively try and break the relationship, which I find proper it's weird. weird. It's weird. Um, it's actually weird. Yeah. But other than that, maybe like disappointing my family. They've disowned <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. Um, they have they have cut off contact since started, but if that's, you see that this, comes with the territory. Let him back. If you see yeah. me, mom, miss you, you. Oh, miss you, Rose. Um, but yeah, honestly, like no, because I've 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 let my entire ass hang out literally on this literally, podcast yeah. now, um, and I wouldn't change a thing because I was myself from the beginning to now. Yeah, and if I wasn't myself, then I'd be pissed off at myself. I'd Sorry. say maybe oversharing like not in that way but obviously I'll talk about my arsehole and the clap but like yeah, oversharing obviously. to the point of people like I think at the start I maybe forgot that people could see those videos Doesn't and know it's about no that's what I mean like when you see I don't this is weird to say but when you see a video has got like 500k views you do not fi- I don't it's just a number just I like, don't oh, right, think sound. yeah five I don't actually think oh that's so many people that have seen no. it I just think Oh, my vid's got 500k views. Grace, you always get millions back to back. And I... That is more... You you go to a stadium tour, there's only 30,000 people in that in uh, like in that. This thing. is what I mean. And then I a forget. A million people watch yours I forget. Back. That is fucked. So like when I'm sat here talking about my ex-boyfriends, like my next door neighbours, I do forget they might follow me. They oh, probably yeah. possibly do follow me. Been there. And once my, my neighbour, this is so bad, I live next to this really sweet... Um, older lady yeah um and i did a video saying i was scared like because i was home alone and i went oh i might might kill my old neighbor off like not (laughs) thinking anything of it and her grandchildren showed her it and she went which one of you is like barry and it was me and i was like hi and she was like i saw the tiktok and i was like (laughs) <laughs> I've got to move out. Like, and she was pissed. I'm this pretty in sure your she was uni pissed. House? Yeah, my oh uni my house. God. Yeah, not my normal house. No, that's like even worse because they it's get relentless wor- against yeah. the uni house. Yeah, and I was, and also like my packages get given to her. Oh, fuck that. So oh, Grace Barry, and Getting I'm going into them. that house, and no I'm like, chance. oh, I feel really bad. I felt awful. You said you were going to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> no chance. She's keeping your parcel. Going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> right. We're going to do two more questions. Right, and I'm okay. going to move on Love to something it. else. Right. So. Would you ever get with another influencer if you haven't already? Yes. Um, Have you got with anyone? Well, for me, I 
Have I? I don't really know. No, no, because when I, I started in lockdown, mm. um, and then I met Andrew. Oh yeah, no, you did. Yeah, yeah. I met Andrew literally a year ago this week. No, Ooh. no, we didn't meet a year ago. We've been together a year ago this week. Congrats, Andrew. So, I mean, not gonna lie, I probably would have by this point because yeah. when I was single, I was a massive slag. But like it's easy though as well. Like when you're at yeah. events, you're getting drunk. Oh, easy, honestly, and and also like you're like, oh my god, you get me. <laughs> yeah, like, we like we've been on this journey bubble. together, yeah. especially with TikTokers. Like a lot of the ones that yeah. we meet, especially we all came up at the all same accident time. as well. All by accident. Everyone who, everyone who's sort of got like a mill kind of now, we all came up during lockdown, didn't all we? All at the exact same time. I yeah. think I literally got the app, maybe not even, just started posting on the app maybe like two months before you. And yeah, then I remember, yeah, I remember literally seeing you. seeing you. And I was like, oh, follow. And then I instantly regretted it. Um, Cause <sighs> you just disgusted me. That's a story yeah. for another day. What can you do? Um, but no, I've not. There's been like, Definitely ones that have tried to get with me, which you can't blame them. Yeah, um, well, come raw on now. sexual appeal, right here. I smell it. Um, but no, I can't say that I have. No. no. Um, have you? Yeah. Um, next have you? question. Or oh, maybe you have to do a shot then. I so, think this is say, say it a shot. It. I think it is. I can't say who I got with. Only one person actually I've got with in the like in the industry ish. Yeah, and I know Who's exactly it? who it is. And I'd say got got with is a bit of an understatement. Wait, how do you know? Because that? you fucking told me, and maybe I tell you that person I was drunk? did as well. Yeah, they no. told you as well. No, you told me. Fuck. You told me. Did I? And you weren't even that drunk. You told me when we were like pre-drinking Fuck. to go out. Or did you? I don't know. I think I might have done. But I already knew. How did you already know? Because. Right. I think everyone knows as well. Because I don't think keep everybody does. I don't think everybody does. Thing. Maybe only because at that place where we were, but we had, I'd been around you too. And I said like, oh, like what's going on here? And said person said something like, oh, already been there. Or something along those lines. And then, I know he, you're and watching then, this then well, they actually went like, uh, after it. No, they didn't really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't really. Um, but yeah, so then that, but that was when everybody was really drunk, and I didn't think oh, much of nah, it. Oh no, I didn't think, I didn't that think was much at Brooks' party, it. wasn't yes. it? Nah, I remember at Brooks' party. <laughs> I saw the footage after. And I was all over them. I was, I was yeah, like, oh mess. my god. But it was great though. It was great, and I didn't even think that much of it. I thought, oh, we're all sarcastic twats. That don't mean anything. That's just a joke. And then um, the morning afterwards, I was doing a debrief. Um, with my lovely boyfriend, Andrew. Of course. And I was like, and he was like, oh yeah, I think they have. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, I think they have. And then I saw you like, what, two weeks later or something? Yeah. Um, when we were going to an event, we like met beforehand. Oh, and then of course I told you. And you told me, you told me after like, not even a drink. Do you know what's bad though? You and only probably maybe two other people know that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm very, so I've not told anyone. fucking outed it now. I've not told it. Well, well, nobody knows who it is unless they're like, have like eyes. Yeah, and my they manager can, like, knows at... she's there. <laughs> yeah, she knows, she knows. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting information. See you at Jack Wills. Hey, um, oh, oh, right. Okay. Oh last question. Wait, you need to do a shot. You didn't say. Are you joking me? I'm not, I'm not. I'm I not can't lacking. say their name. I'm this. not lucky you can't say the name. To be fair, I also got with this girl who had a boyfriend oh. as well. That Do you remember that? I was blackout yes. drunk at this part. Yes, I, do I was remember that. so drunk. I remember I was just sat there on this stool like this. This girl was in between my legs. We were just getting off, and then she went, I've got a boyfriend. Yee! Yes, I do and walked off, that. and I was like, Oh, I do remember that. Nah. <laughs> oh, you came up to me like absolutely tattooed. Like, I just got with this girl, and she was like, no. like, That's what you sound like when you're drunk, by the way. Oh. I just got with this girl. <laughs> I'm bloke. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. I thought block. my titty came out. I was like, Sorry, Max. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, you ready? Right. Three, two, one. Fucking hell. Guys, it's the afternoon. It's the afternoon. <clears throat> right. <laughs> okay. The next question, last question is, most famous person that's either slid into your DMs or like messaged you? It doesn't have to be flirty. Um, let me think. I've had... Yeah, I, I bet don't, you've not, had fucking loads of blue I've ticks. Had, you had, yeah. I've had like um, very random people. Right. A lot of people, well, it's not actually that random, just like Love Island people. Yeah, yeah. But I, d I never really watched Love Island until this last- I'm really upset that you didn't watch yeah, Love I've Island. Yeah, I've never watched I'm it I'm a Love before. Island connoisseur. Well, I am now. Well, oh, you best believe. Um, a lot of like the drag race queens. Uh, for me, it's when a new show like comes out and then I watch it and then I'm like, oh, I like that person. And like, oh my God. Like, and they then I'm like, oh me. my God, they're on that show. And then they liked me beforehand. That's so cool. Um, 
but yeah, I don't, I, I can't really think of many people off the top of my head. Just like a lot of like reality TV people that you never yeah, thought. Yeah, of course. I, I never thought I'd be in like the same world as them. But it's I guess mad, to an isn't it? We are, and they'll really. message you and you're like, yeah, they're going, like, right. I love you. And you're going, uh, yeah, I know who exactly. you are. Yeah, fully. It is weird. And I've had people like, like call me out in interviews like oh I love that like northern twat on TikTok and I'm like this it's gotta is be so me. weird it is weird the reach that we have and yeah. we don't even realise well, you don't it. think about it do you it's fucked it's so bloody weird go on who's yours mine once I drunk voice noted Tom Zanetti oh and I don't I genuinely don't have any re- recollection recollection <laughs> doing it um, I don't remember what I said oh no it's on my old Instagram oh Rest god in oh no no and then he replied like three months later oh. yeah and being like oh come to the dull house and I was like don't fucking ask me twice I will be there yeah <laughs> I just realised who mine is carry on oh no go on that's all I've got Jade Thurwall from Little Mix <gasps> And recently, well, Grace, Grace, when I tell you, that yeah. was that was at the event that we were at. Yeah. Okay. That was incredible to see as well. I'm really so glad I, I saw pretty that. much, let's just say I'm a flaming homosexual and yeah. I've devoted my life to a girl group and they are called Little Mix. And um, I adore them. I just think that they're sick as fuck. And personally, I think Jade is just legend on legs. Um, don't know if that's the same. <laughs> legend but we're on legs. Here. We'll do um, it. And she saw so us. Uh, well, we, we saw her. She saw you, life. yeah. <laughs> I was just sat at my drink. Like, <laughs> at mm-hmm. the Charlie XCX album party. Yeah. And I said, I think that's Jade off Little Mix. I said, I think I think that's Jade Thurwall. And we're like, and you were like, go on, you need to no, do it. No, I literally was like, you need to just do go. It. Yeah. I went over and she goes, Max Ballet, I said. Oh, beautiful Whoa. moment. I said, oh my God. The fact that they even know who they are. And I've recently had a, a, a situation where I've been scammed and I bought two Little Mix tickets for over a thousand pounds. I heard about this. And they're not real. Um, Bit of an emotional time for me. But let's just say- Jade, if you're watching, give him a refund. Well, let's just say somebody direct messaged me on Instagram, not saying who, and maybe has sorted me out and maybe said, um, this is not only from me, but also from the rest of the- Fuck off. And I said, so does that mean that they've all seen me? And then that same day, Perry commented on my video Your saying- Your TikTok, no, both of them, Perry and Jade commented, didn't they? I need to go home. He needs air. He needs air. I need to relax. Who's got the defib? I need a bag to breathe in. <laughs> oh my God. And when I tell you like gay little like 19 year old Max, that was everything that, and, and you have to play it cool now. You because do. Because if you're too you do. weird, if you're too yeah, weird, it puts weird. them off. So I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's normal. Jade? Yeah. That's normal. Like, what's your name again? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I recognize you from somewhere. I feel like we've, uh, did you go to my primary school? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and bear in mind, she, a boyfriend who used to be in Rizzle Kicks, turns yeah, to me yeah, and goes, yeah. you're a legend. And I turn to Jade and go, your mum's a legend. That's weird. That's not all right. No, I embarrassed myself in front of him that night. Oh, I bet you fucking no, did. No, I did. What did you do? Was your ass all Well, around? you did. Rude. When's While you not? two were talking, right? Yeah. Oh God. We were just like stood at the side. So I was thinking, I was like, what do I say to a man that was in Rizzle Kit? Like I used to love down with the fucking trumpets. Yeah, did you, you know get what I'm down saying? With the trumpets? I did, I'm always down with the trumps. Did. So not. like, not Donald, but no. like, so I just looked at him and I was like panicking. I was like, oh, just us on the side, eh? And he goes, what? And I go, oh yeah, like, we are just on the side and it sounded bitchy, but I was like, and then he, and he went, okay. And I was like, yeah. And I just no. turned around and I was like, oh. That is a violation. Do you know what it is? It's because I didn't know what to say. Like the I couldn't be like, are you are risen- when you violate yourself. You it's did that to yourself. Wor- I always do it to myself. I and do. I knew he was probably thinking, what a weird fucking girl. Oh. What an a weird bitch. And it's awful because you, you you get in those situations and you lose your legs and you're like, you I don't do. know how to act as a person. Your brain goes numb. Oh. People don't understand when you meet people that you've seen, yeah. listen to, watch, when you see them, you actually, your just mind goes blank. You don't know what to say to them. Not that they're like not human, but no. it's also a bit like, oh, it's really I weird. I was shocked at how human Jade was. I was like, oh my she... God, you're a lot smaller than I yeah. thought. Yeah, oh, she was so cute. I was like, you're you, so you, pretty. You look normal. I yeah. was like, and then, but my legs started shaking. I had to go upstairs for five minutes I bet to they sit did. down. Yeah, not upstairs. No. Right, we're going to move on. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> so many of you might know, if you don't know, get to know, we went to the Jack Wills house. We did. Which is basically a house where... Jack Wills like got it for us, rented it for us, whatever. And there was like quite a few influencers there. Like mm. you might know like Belle Priestley, whatever. Mm. Um, 
And we were all in this house together for like, what, three days? Yes. And it was... Carnage. Bizarre. It was the weirdest shit in the Ever. world. Because what brand is going to do that? And also like a lot of us, I only knew pretty much you, yeah. Belle. I'd heard of Bartosz, you know, Ill Oil Me Slot. Too. But that was the first heard time him. I met him Yeah, as well. like I'd never really like... Spay oh Eloise and Jimbo are Cat, oh, Cat Cat Burns is from my era. I legend. love Cat Burns. It's fucking legend. But um yeah, it was really like I remember I was shitting myself before I went. I was like, I'm Me literally too. gonna be like I'm gonna pass out yeah. if I go to this house. I was literally really panicking and then you got there and I was like, oh, and then you were sat like far away from me on the couch. Yeah, I was sat And I was bell. like literally surrounded by people, lovely people by the way, but I that was the first time yeah. I met them. And I was like, oh my god, like I was just when I get uncomfortable, I just chat for days. Yeah. So I was just chat chatting shit. my tits yeah. off. But wild times. We had some weird times there as well. So like the schedule for it was, you'd come down for breakfast. Um, and one day we filmed us making breakfast, but it yeah. wasn't like that all, like all day. But like <laughs> we'd had activities through the day, like a squid game, sports day, whatever. Oh, yeah. But at the end, we had a party and loads of like TikTokers were invited to 30. this party. 30. So there's already 12 of us in the house. Yeah. And then 30 people get brought on two separate coaches to the house for one night for a party. Yeah. And when I tell you they lived up to their fucking name. Wild. I just want to say, I feel like people have a negative connotation with TikTokers. Oh, but yeah. they were all so, they were all really nice. I didn't have a problem with Like they were Me all neither. so lovely. So lovely. But. I can't really say who did this. Can I, I don't even know who did it. Allegedly. 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 And I want to really make that clear. Allegedly. Allegedly. I can't A -L -L get sued. Cat I'm a uni student. I've got to pay back my debts. What, what money are they going to take? Nothing. Here we are. Overdraft. No. <laughs> but allegedly, so there was a room. I think it was Eloise and Jimbo's room. It was their bathroom. It was So they had basically, everyone had the, oh, like a double room. So I was with Megan Bolton. Yes. Eloise and Jimbo were together and everyone has their own bathroom. So Eloise and Jimbo had their own bathroom. Anyway, allegedly, um, they go upstairs at the party. They find, was it a Jack Wills condom? I think it was a Jack Wills condom. Surely not. I don't know. I think I, maybe not. I made that up. <laughs> wait, but I actually think wait. it might have been a Jack, Jack Wills, Wills condom. condoms a thing? Because I, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. They should have offered me at the fucking door. Maybe they door. took one look at us they and they said, watch, nobody's yeah, shagging that. They did, we do yeah. it raw. Yeah. No, but were they. Sorry, I should have said that. <laughs> right. But someone from a, an alleged house. Alleged TikTok house that had, allegedly exists. Yeah. Had. Right, had. In Eloise and Jimbo's room. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, even worse. Do you know that what I mean? Worse. Just do it in the bed. And also, I just want to clarify, those 30 people that were brought in were yeah. there for around three hours. No, it was so short. It was like, and they were brought in. Yeah. And then three hours later, had a blast, see you later. So yeah. they must have really thought, do you know what? They we, got the horn quick. We need it we right need now. We need that cocky. Easy. Yeah. And on the mini buses back, apparently it was hell. Oh, yeah. People were, People being, were being sick. sick. Oh, trigger warning. I'm oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. Thank People you. were. Um, but no, the Jack Will's house was, it, it was mental. Was wild. Like, guys, I don't think that anybody, even from the TikToks that we took, I don't think that you can understand how weird it was. The behind the scenes. Especially because all of us were TikTokers. Yeah. That, uh, fairly new to this mm -hmm. we were all tucked to a mansion where people are waiting with champagne yeah on a plate and what just whatever whatever, whatever you, wanted you wanted went like there were bars everywhere at all times got porn star martini like i was i felt awful i would sit with the staff and be like i'm sorry are you sure like i, I can do this myself yeah they yeah. were they were having a go at me because i kept offering to do things myself like clean up my plate yeah but it's awkward isn't it when they're like do you need and you're do you need do you need anything yes i felt so bad and then you remember this is their job to yeah. do it but it's so out of my nature to be like oh can you get me this food can you get me this drink like it's it so was weird. so fun and i remember at night we'd go in the hot tub oh, do you remember this i remember this we'd be going in the hot tub we'd be so drunk as well Having in this hot tub time. it was so funny half of the stuff we cannot say on here no definitely not but yeah it was a good time it was the best time of my life next up i want to talk about possibly the best and worst events we've been to because i've been to now most of my events i go to 
you're there. Yeah. Of course. Of course. We went to this event, which actually, the event itself was good. Unreal. Yeah, amazing. Just want to clarify, unreal. But we fucked we it up. Fucked it up. We so we went late, didn't we? Because we, we were drinking. All, yeah. we were having a drink in some we sketchy place. Shops. Um, so we went late, we got there, and then we queue up for genuine, this isn't an exaggeration, like over half an hour yes. for a drink, mm -hmm. right, at the bar. We order cocktails and we're doing it in mass now yeah. because like we've, we're having we're to make, yeah, we're having to make up for lost time. Yeah. They go, you need tokens. I say, my love, what the fuck are you talking about? I've got <laughs> Apple Pay. She goes, no, no, you should have got tokens at the front. So me and Max are going, hold the drinks. Yeah. We go to the front. Keep them there. You do the second part. Go I on. I said, right, we were told that we need these tokens. Where are they? They Where said, they? no, you've missed all the tokens. Yeah, we would like, we'd miss, and we were only, I'm going to say we're only 10 minutes late as well. We weren't even that late. Get fucked. Maybe an hour, yeah. but let's say 10 minutes, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, it's alleged. True, yeah. um, and then we get to the bar, we go, they've no tokens left. And she goes, not, that's not yeah, my problem. Yeah, they go, okay, yeah. order at the bar upstairs. So we go upstairs because it was in a fancy hotel, hotel yeah. wasn't it? And first of all, we mm. get told you can't order at the bar. And we felt like proper scruffs already. Yeah, because we were, it, I was in like low rise fucking Ed Hardy, like <laughs> fucking what are they call like cargoes. Yeah. And it's a posh hotel. It was so posh. I got my belly out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, it wasn't a good start. And I had my fanny out yeah. everywhere. Literally everywhere you looked. Everyone flat, was having a sniff. Flat, yeah. Clitoris. Um, and we get told you cannot order at the bar. Yeah. You need to go down and sit on a chair. So we do. Then we're waiting for a waiter to come over. We're thinking they think that we're scruffs. They think mm. we've just broken. No, they they one hundred percent think we're scruffs. Yeah, 100%. No, that's not alleged. Yeah, that's, that's 100 true. Percent fact. Yeah, sue me. And then sue um, me. we are sitting there. We order two double vodka lemonades. But like, our plan, yeah, our plan was we down them both, yeah. go back to the event. Didn't go to plan. Didn't go to plan. Turns out two couples directly next to us, 50 years old at least, bless them, love them, they were amazing, um, are from the same town pretty much that I'm from. What are the chances? They heard my accent and they said, where are you from? I said, where the fuck are you where from? Where are you fucking from? And then we like... said, oh my God. God, and we sat and talked to them for how long? We talked to them for so long, but it was such a was good convo. A yeah, like we were really like getting into the convos with them. So Having by the this time. point, <laughs> we'd got our drinks, we drank them. We probably paid, we had to remortgage the house yeah. to pay for these drinks anyway. We go back downstairs. Oh, bearing in mind, by this point, they said to me, you have to only have one drink at a time. So I go up to the people running the event and I say, look, they're saying I can only have one drink at a time. And I said as a joke, I can't be sober for this. And yeah. the guy went, don't come in then. <gasps> he did, didn't he? Yeah, he went, he don't come in then. And I was like, oh yeah, because I've just booked a hotel in London to not fucking to not come, come to the event. Piss so off. So rude, piss yeah. off. Yeah, I was like, how are you not understanding this right now? Oh my God. So I went back to my seat and didn't say fuck <laughs> all. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, 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 you're she right. She thought, how dare you? And she went, okay, yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, but... I did. I was like, hee, hee, hee. And just walked back to the seat. But yeah, and then. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. We go downstairs mm -hmm. after sitting with this couple for no joke, I'd say minimum hour and a half. hundred percent. We had our drinks, go downstairs. We've missed the whole event. We missed the, the person, person who the event was based around. Performing. We missed the, and bear in mind, it was an album release party. So they performed an entire album. album. And we missed it all. And like people like Amelia Dims were there. Like yeah. I, I want to meet Amelia. And we, and then we, I come down, I'm like, oh, like, is Amelia still here? They're all going, nah, most people had left by this point. Fuming. Oh, but then, no, this is the best part. We then go, should we just try and get another drink? Yeah. They're only taking fucking Apple Pay. They're that only taking Apple violation. Pay. I was like, I hope you rock. They were taking the piss out they of us. They were taking the piss out of us. I, I heard it was an album release party. It was a fucking fuck Max and Grace over. No, party. seriously, it was. It actually was. It was a joke. Unbelievable. But we had a good time. No, we had a great. Oh, yeah. We and then the afterwards, time. we went clubbing, didn't we? Oh, we did. We only ran into like Kitty's Got Claws. Oh, all the drag race. All the drag, uh, drag race. race I was like, is this a dream? <laughs> Have I had too much tequila? <laughs> It was insane. Unreal. We had the best time. We had the best we had time. We always time. have the best time. A lot of random, awful shit happened. Um, but, but we had the best time. Tell them. Classic us. Right, Here now I want to get onto a story. Take oh, a big plug of that because you're not Fucking caught up with me. Hell. If you don't get to the same level as me, you're not, You're not. not. we're not going on to the next topic. <laughs> right, okay. We're not, go on. Hell. No, no, go on right, okay, now. Wait. 
You'd like to drink with Max. So Max is our mate. I can't do that. Oh my God, that is pure vodka. No, it is, isn't it? Oh! Okay. So <laughs> my next thing is, um, I want to know your opinion on cal- cancel culture because uh, you have, if you don't mind me saying. Bring it on had mm-hmm. a cancellation mm-hmm. mine's yet to come i know it's gonna come oh one million when percent when i don't know but well i have a lot to say on this um take issue. the mic babes i was in a rare situation where i was in um an online beef yeah shall we say. yeah we won't say who it was with no i put, i didn't really get cancelled myself i was in a rare situation where i put everything out and I said, this is what happened factually. Mm. You do this or you do this. You can decide whatever you want based on the facts. Yeah. And luckily for me, people rallied behind me because in this particular situation, I had done nothing wrong. And when I put the facts out, people saw that. But still, the amount of like anxiety. Well, I was going to say, I want to know the moment you found out that something was going on. Because so, that's the bit that makes me feel sick. So I woke up from a night out. So I already had Oh, you were hungover. I was with my best mate next to me in right. bed. And it was in the heat of summer. So we were drenched in sweat. Of course. I opened my phone and I'd received a voice note from said person mm. that was very odd, shall we say. Right. And then looked on TikTok and said person had made it public. Something that I'd known about for like the last month but even you though didn't i knew it was gonna go anywhere no yeah. and even, even though i knew that in this situation um you know like if i if i was like a twat and i was like i want to like oh i live for the drama i could have posted it a month ago and, be, and everyone would have been like oh my god this is awful yeah or but i just decided i don't want to do that because i can't cope with that like how it made me feel when it happened to me as a person i was like imagine now if hundreds of thousands of people knew about it yeah it'd be like that times 10 so instead, I kept it to myself and then I woke up, hung over, saw that it was public and also saw that I'd received this thing. And I was like, oh my God, now I have to respond to this. I was like, I actually have to do one of those influencer yeah, videos. Yeah. Because you can't they, keep quiet on stuff like that was, because I, people I, I, take... People were, yeah. my DMs, my emails were like, kill no. yourself, we're going to come and kill you. I was like, do you know oh, what? Get a me a fucking favor. life. No, honestly, it's, please. It's, honestly, Grace, I've never seen like the most vile side of humanity in my mm-hmm. entire life. But I spent that whole day, I was like, I need to make a video on this. Because if I, 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 was, like, I was like, you say? to you and fro, I was like, yeah. do I do it? Do I not? And I was like, I just sat down and in about half an hour, I just like banged it out. And I was like, this is what happened. They were like, put it out there. And even though off the back of that video, everybody was in my favor, which was, is rare. When, yeah, when yeah internet, in that situation. When there's yeah. an internet drama, it's either like, we're on this side, we're on this side. Not everybody, obviously. There were some people that were like diehard fans of that person that yeah, were like yeah, very. Of course. Um, but I luckily, it was a situation where I knew that I'd done nothing wrong. So I just put it out there and a lot of people saw that. But I still felt so much anxiety. I cannot even tell you. I couldn't eat. No, you know, I can imagine. You know no, I can like, actually imagine. When you like go through a breakup or something. You and find you, out someone's cheating on yeah, you and you get and that your message. your stomach yeah, drops. Yeah. I had that for no joke about a week. Even though, because I was seeing tweets about myself. I was seeing videos about myself on my For You page. Aww. And luckily they were all defending me. But, but imagine every if time it wasn't. I saw my name, yeah. I was still like, oh my God, I don't want to see this. Like, I don't, I, ju- I just want this to be over. I remember just thinking, put this video out. I just want it to be over. I want it to go to bed. I just don't want this to happen. I've heard this before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I want to know your worst encounter with someone famous. Oh my God. Grace, I've had so many. So many people. So many. Just very rude. Mm. To be fair though, what right uh, before I get into my story. Mm. Well, actually, no, I'll tell my story first. I can't say the name though. Right, okay. I told no, you this. Yeah, NDA. Can't say the name. Um, but it was one of my first, if you don't know, I've do like interviewing on red carpets and stuff. Love it. Absolutely having a ball of a time. Um, but some celebrities take themselves very seriously. And also, I just not up for really having a good time. Um, so I was interviewing this one person, and 
from the offset, they just weren't giving it to me. Of like we're in this situation now. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, we know each other beforehand. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit easier. But, but I'm sure there's going to be guests on here that maybe this is your first time meeting them. Yeah. And you just have to, when you are in the per, in the seat of somebody interviewing somebody else, so just like you're in control, you just have to be lighthearted, funny, make them feel comfortable. Yeah. So I did every single bit of that. I said to this person before, I said, before the cameras start, I just want you to know, I love you so much. I'm such a big fan of you. I've been to your concerts, blah, blah, blah. And then they went, thanks. So I was like, all right, then, okay. But like, sound, maybe they're just a bit nervous. Nervous, whatever. yeah. Um, start the interview. And they were just combative of every single question that I gave. For example, like, oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? No, I don't really think so, to be honest. Why do you think it's a nice day? Stuff like that. I, yeah. Obviously, that's I, that's not actually what happened, but that's an example of how they were behaving. Mm-hmm. And then I even got to the end and I was panicking so much because I kept asking them questions. This was my first proper like interviewing gig like with a big brand. Um, and it was in front of other people in, as well, wasn't all, it? The thing that you don't realize when you're interviewing people on a red carpet is nine times out of 10, because they frame it on cameras and stuff so that the um, the wall behind with all the brand names on it and stuff, mm-hmm. like, so it looks like you're in this giant room when realistically you're like in a, like a little room or something and it was a room full of people in front of me. So I'm interviewing this person on the camera. It looks like it's just us two having a, like, mm-hmm. a good time but there's about 15 to 20 people all around me watching. So I panicked because they were being so combative with what I was saying. And I had a few questions in my head that I could just ask to anybody. And one of them was, what gives you the ick? They go like this, Grace. So I said, such and such a body, what gives you the ick? And they go, look me up and down. They go, I've got the ick right now. Can I just say as well, this person is, they are in no position. No position. To say Max is an ick. Grace, when I At tell you, all. there are a few times in my life, in fact, one time in my life where my entire ass has fell out and I told you about that before. Yeah, yeah, that was on the street. This streets. was possibly the second time that my entire ass fell out. Well, I no. literally felt like, mm. yeah. I was like, okay, thank you very much. Oh. On to the next person. I didn't know what to, and yeah. I'm, like, I was panicked. It was my first like big like thing that I was so proud of and I was having the best time. Everybody was so lovely. And then this one person who has no right to behave like that, like you said, was so rude. Couldn't hack it. I just, but uh, I've heard a lot about this person yeah. in that industry and apparently they're always rude. Well, literally, as soon as I finished the interview, the magazine, big magazine next to me, won't say the name, not giving them the free promo. Of course, yeah. um, and a big newspaper right next to me said to me, they were like, don't worry, they like that with everybody. Like, they're always rude. But do you know what, as well? This person, until not long ago, was just like a vocal on the backing yeah. tracks. Like, they'd be yeah. like, I don't know who that is, but I just know their voice. Exactly. Here we are. Like, nah, sorry. Like, some people... And also what I've realised is this person isn't overly successful. No. Really, really. Yeah. And all the people that I've interviewed who are very successful are lovely. Nice, of course. And then it makes me think, is the reason why they're successful... Because they're just nice. Really nice, yeah. Because realistically, like, we know better than anybody. Like, we both chat shit on TikTok. But the reason why Grace is here is because, you know, she has a good relationship with her management who then, like, this, and it leads, like, it escalates. Like, if you you make a good impression on people, you get better opportunities. And this person, very talented, but not very successful. And it makes me think, is it because you're a bit of a twat? 100%. 100%. 100%. What do we know? Exactly. We're just a couple of TikTok We're legends. We're just a couple of people that talk about their bums. There we are. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this podcast oh with God. one last question. Oh, fuck. Obviously, the podcast is called Saving Grace. It is. What advice would you give to someone that is a catastrophe like me? Oh, God. Where do I start? I um, if I'm using you as an example, okay. I would firstly say I'm seek be help. Offended. Yeah. Um, emotional, mental, and definitely physical. There's something going wrong there. I don't mean to be rude, obviously, you know. <laughs> yeah, we just, yeah. We, no, just spoke course, about, course. we just spoke about cancel culture. We don't want to speak about <laughs> Yeah, but We don't want to, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. mock people's, you know, physical and mental well-being. But yeah, of course. But... There's something not right there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't put a pin on it myself. I've tried. But, yeah, yeah. And many medical specialists so have So many tried. people have tried, but they can't pinpoint it. They can't it. work it out. So what I would say yeah. is... If you're fucked, yeah. walk into every day going, I know I'm fucked. Mm. Everyone around me knows I'm fucked, fucked but I'm going to have a great time. 
All right. And if you have a great time, the people around you will we'll have, have a great, great time. time. And that's the only reason you've got any mates. <sighs> they look at you on the floor with your ass all out. You've got shit up the walls. <laughs> and they go, to be fair, that's me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm talking about myself. <laughs> um, but they look at you and they go, oh my God. Probably yeah. the first time they met you said, first of all, they would have gone, what's that smell? <laughs> And then, <laughs> then they would have gone, oh my God, can you all see that? Can you all see that? It's shit. But then you were laughing and you were having a good time. You were and telling they thought, jokes. Fine. And they thought, we'll become mates we'll with be, her. Yeah. And that's how we met actually, isn't no, it? No, it was. I was, was a, a roll on the floor of my we, arsehole out. Were you not hanging out the bin? No. Round the back? Well, not we don't tell them that. people were having a good go on you, weren't they? They were. They were. Spit roast. That was after. Sorry. Oh, that yeah, was after. sorry. We get a bit confused um, after But yeah, that's drinks. the advice I would give. If you walk into every day with a delusional level of confidence yeah. that you're a fun, entertaining person, then eventually maybe people will believe that. And that's great. Okay. And do you know what? With that, I'll leave with a good saying uh, that my flatmate, Connor McLeod, would say to me every day, live fast a arse oh and i'll see you in the next episode see you then god bless thank you very much cheers cheers love you've got, got another drink left, left. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've been watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button or your mum's a virgin. If you want to follow it on all of the social medias, it's Saving Grace Pods. Or if you're on the train having a breakdown, whatever, you just want to listen to it, follow it on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And yeah, what can you do?